Hi, my name is Sarah Hughes, and I'm a professional beach volleyball player and a Mikasa athlete. Today, myself and my coach, Jose Loyola, will teach you some skills on how to improve your passing. Everything starts with a pass. Jose and I will be now demonstrating a passing drill. Passing is one of the most important aspects of the game, and as a professional player, we still do these drills every day in practice. I think for me as a coach, using this bench here, it's really important because it gives, it gives me a high point of contact to the ball and also uh, it, it shortens the distance between the players and the ball. It forces them to move a little faster. But if you don't have the bench, you can always improvise. Now you get on the other side of the net and let's start demo the drills. We're going to initiate the drill by serving Sarah to her line. More important on this drill here right now that the passes stay still until the hitter makes contact with the ball. When I start making contact with the ball, you're gonna read my wrist and then you make a move to the line, okay? So let's go. It's really important as a passer to wait for your server to make contact before you start moving. Sometimes I get a little too anxious and like to move early but that's definitely a bad thing because if they have a great float serve, you can think it's coming towards this way and it might drop over here. So make sure you wait for the contact and see the ball before you move. Now that we did five balls to the right, now we're gonna serve five balls to the left. Come on, move your feet. Make sure you stay low. Don't break it until I make a contact with the ball. Make sure you get a platform out, okay? Lastly, when you have a server who's moving you two different directions, make sure to get a good shuffle step. You don't want to be here and accidentally cross over and be off balance when you're passing. Stay balanced and have a good shuffle to the ball. Come on, move your feet. Excellent pass. Thank you for training with me. In order to side out, you first have to pass. So keep working hard and practice every day to become a better passer.